welcome to CM Lunch Break. Today's Wednesday. Um, I am Miss Marin and I help out in the Rocking Kids. And I am Miss Shauna and I help out in Warriors. And today's lesson is going to be all about the Last Supper. Does anyone know what the Last Supper is? Well, if you don't, you're gonna learn about it today. It's the last meal that Jesus shares on earth and he chooses to share that meal with the disciples. So today uh, we're going to be focusing in Mark chapter 14. So parents, if you wanna pull out um, a Bible so kids can follow along, we're gonna be reading some scripture today. And with that, I'm gonna hand it over to Miss Marin because she is going to read some scripture for us. And as Miss Marin is reading this scripture, we're gonna invite you guys to um, ask mom and dad for some snacks, some things to eat, plates, cups, drinks, and we're gonna invite you guys to sit down with your siblings, maybe your parents, whoever you're home with, and you guys are gonna share a meal together today as we go through this lesson. Mm -hmm. So as Nishana said, we are gonna be starting out in Mark chapter 14, and we are starting at verse 12. So on the first day of the festival of unleavened bread, when it was customary to sacrifice the Passover lamb, Jesus' disciples asked him, where do you want us to go and make preparations for you to eat the Passover? So he sent two of his disciples, telling them, go into the city and a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him, say to the owner of the house he, say to the owner of the house he enters, the teacher asks, where is my guest room, where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? He will show you a large upper room, furnished and ready. Make preparations for us there. The disciples left, went into the city, and found things just as Jesus had told them. So they prepared the Passover. So we're wondering, what are some things that you guys like about sharing a meal with your family and friends? And if, as you're sitting here together today, sharing a meal, we just want you to ask yourselves that question. What is special about that? For me, I love being able to spend time with my friends and my family because they are the most important people in my life. Um, and relationships are so important just as a community, especially for me. So being able to do that over a meal makes it really special. Mm -hmm. I think sharing a meal together around the table and just having all like phones put away and not being distracted, just being there with your family is something that is really, really special and something that maybe a lot of people don't have. Being able to share what has happened to you throughout that day, maybe share some wins. We love to do that at The Rock, sharing yeah. some wins. Um, those are some of my favorite things about sharing a meal with family and friends. Mm -hmm. So we just talked about why we love spending time with our friends and family over a meal. But we want to talk specifically about what makes Jesus's Last Supper so special. Wow. Well, we, the word is in the title and the word last. And so what is really amazing to think about is this is the very last time that Jesus is going to eat food on earth. And the disciples aren't even really aware that this is going to be the case. Jesus has tried to explain to them that he will go to the cross and um, he will be crucified, but they're kind of in disbelief that this is gonna happen. And so he chooses his very last meal to spend time with the disciples. And at that table, he treats them with such kindness as family and friends of himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he also, um, it's just a physical representation of what Jesus will be doing when he does get crucified on the cross. And so Shauna is going to go into those verses specifically. Starting at verse 22, still in chapter 14. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, gave thanks, and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take it, this is my body. Then he took the cup, gave thanks, and offered it to them, and they all drank from it. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many, he said to them, I tell you the truth, I will not drink again of the fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it anew in the kingdom of God. And so what Jesus is saying in those verses is just what we talked about. This is the last time I'm going to be eating on earth. The next time I break bread and drink wine is going to be in heaven with God because I'm going to be crucified and resurrected. And I'm sure the disciples 
didn't even really understand how that was going to look or what was going to happen. But we are just wondering, what do these elements represent? And when we talk about the elements, what we're referring to is the bread that Jesus is breaking and the wine that they are drinking. And so the bread represents Jesus's body. And so as Jesus is breaking the bread, he's trying to explain to the disciples, this is what is going to happen to my body. When I am beaten before I go to the cross, my body is going to be beaten for you on your behalf. And so that's what the bread represents, the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. And the wine that the disciples will be drinking represents Jesus and the blood that he's going to be shedding for us, for um, us to be in right standing with him, that he is physically going to be bleeding from his hands when he gets nailed um, to the cross. And um, that's just such a powerful representation. And so Jesus is the body that is broken instead of our body being broken. Jesus' blood is spilled instead of our blood being spilled. And so the reason why we take communion, we take the bread and the wine, usually juice, and we take that so we can remember that awesome sacrifice that is so hard to even understand what the disciples were in such shock over. We take communion to remember what Christ has done for us and just look to him and know that that truth of what he did thousands of years ago still stands for us today. Mm -hmm. So parents and kids, we invite you guys to take communion as a family right now. Um, in the email we have sent out just a prayer that you guys can say together as a family with some crackers and bread and some juice if you have some at your house or just water, but just as a representation um, and a reminder to us of what Jesus is doing and has done for us and the significance of it and how much we just thank him so much that he took our sins and he broke his body and shed his blood so we didn't have to. And we just want to remember that moment that Jesus did and also thank him that we can be with him now and for eternity. Well, thank you so much for joining us again, guys. This weekend is Easter. I know I'm excited. It looks a little bit different this year, but that doesn't mean that it's any less special. So we hope that you are able to celebrate and to just look to Jesus in this time and remember all he has done for us. So we'll see you guys on Friday. Bye. Bye.